everyone, I am the Dragon Skull, and welcome to what is going to be the final episode of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. When we left off, we um, 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 succeeded in our plan to sneak into the tower, and then we met Lucas and the new Ocelot, and they agreed to help us fight the admin. Then um, we tried, after talking with the admin, the admin decided to, uh, uh, screw this world, I'm going to uh, bedrock over it and start a new world entirely. So now we are in the terminal space, and we're now going to be um, getting the um, weapon using hashtag potato451 in the terminal, and we're going to be um, taking away the admin's powers for good, and stop him once and for all. I'm really sad that this, this game's coming to an end, because I love this game. Uh, but all things must come to an end eventually, so let's do this. Yeah, this is where we left off last time. Once I put... Last time I put the normal potato in and I activated the party parrot protocol instead. So when I put the poison potato in there, it's going to activate um, the weapon. So, here goes nothing. And there we go. Was that a good thud or a bad thud? Hopefully a good thud. It's... Fred? Fred? Uh, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Another gauntlet? That's the weapon? How ironic. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Oh, uh, I have to reply? Okay. Yes, Fred, I do understand. Then good luck, Sarah. You're... I think you might need it. Oh, Here goes nothing. Poor Fred. What do you think you're doing? Oh, hey Romeo. I'm going to be taking away your powers. Stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you. Your world's done. No take that. Oh, great. More Colossus. Jesse, hurry. Come on, grab the gauntlet! Whoa! Eliminated them all! What? Whoa! Hell yeah! Look how good it goes with my armor! Hell yeah! How, how ironic, this whole thing started with the gauntlet! Now it's gonna end with a gauntlet! It started with a gauntlet, now it's gonna end with a gauntlet. Take this! Ooh. I don't know what you're playing at, but it ends now! I said it ends now! I took some of his powers away. Well, how about we finish this with a little change of scenery? Shoot. Whatever you say, Admin. The, the Sea Temple? Kalu Kalei, Jesse. Remember when we first met? Oh, Boss. That was back when I thought we could still be friends. We still could be friends, but... You, you're just gonna have to take... use this the powers. temple, this challenge, was my first gift to you. Now... It's going to be where I bury you. Here's the Colossus voice. Join fist! Running out of platform, Jesse. Go on, Jesse, punch you with the gauntlet. Nowhere to run. Ha <laughs> Nice try. Use the gauntlet. Just die already. Counter punch, go. Oh. 
Oh yes! Not even a giant fist can stop my new gauntlet. This is a true infinity gauntlet I have. This is impossible. No one gets to make me Well I just did that man. I can't why do I feel so powerless? He's glitching. Now we're at the Ice Palace. Come on. I certainly hope you're enjoying this trip down memory lane as much as I am. Yeah, I yeah. am. I remember the snowman. I remember that snowman all too well. <sighs> oh. Hit plays back at the admin. Okay, um. <laughs> Alright, that was bad. Maybe we need to get a bit closer. Ow! Take this! Get to the end before he gets up. Whoops! No! Not this time! He looks different from the last time he was a snowman. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, snowballs! I can't believe I dodged all those. I'm a boss! Oh, come on, let me hit those. Let me hit those, please. Are those blue fl fireballs or are those um, snowballs covered in fire? I don't care. As long as I like, hit them back at him and not mess it up. Nice deflect there, Jesse. Alright, let's try not to miss like an idiot this time. <laughs> yes! Get him, quickly! Use the gauntlet! Sure you can! <laughs> oh, I am very much starting to hate that stupid gauntlet! Games are over, admin. Give it up. Oh, I am going to... I always hated that snowman, too. You don't... Don't touch me! Touch me! Touch me! Oh, Jesse? Petra? Oh, now it's this again. Friendship's got a little on this adventure, hasn't it? A little worn thin. I wonder who did that. I'm not listening to you, admin. No, that's a shame. Yeah, I remember Here, this. I thought it would be a nice way of working through some things. I remember I had to fight Petra in the in the the Sunshine Institute. Whoa, dodge. But I'm, this time I'm not gonna cow and, and flee because I know that that's not Petra. That's the advent. I'm not falling for it this time. Whoop! Yeah! <laughs> that laser attack got him somehow. Whoa! Dodge that just in time. Whoa! Whoop! Nope! Yeah! <laughs> okay, three lives. I better not get hit again. Come on, admin. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Is that all you got? Take this! Oh, he's, he's good at dodging. So am I though. Yeah, take that! Take another golden fist to the face! Jeez, he's glitching like crazy. Whoa. Wait, please, please, stop. Don't take all my powers away. Without them, I don't know what I'd do. Help him. Uh, I don't know if I should because he might pull a fast one on you, me. You can't take that from me. Those powers aren't what make you special, Romeo. Powers don't make anyone special. It's who you are, how you act. Yeah. Don't you judge me! You don't get to judge me! Oh, it's Boys. mine! Get off! Take another fist to the face! Infinity Gauntlet, go! Oh, so we get to punch him again. And we're back here. His powers are going critical now. I can't even teleport anymore! 
through, Admin. It's over. Yeah. Say that again. Time to end this. What's that level playing field feel, huh, jerk? Get away from me! One more punch with my in gauntlet on to fix this. Whoa! He's still got some fight left in him. And he can still fly. He's going all out. Well, so am I. Go, Jesse! Go! Oh! Falcon Punch! Yeah! He's still not down yet? How many more hits is he gonna take to take his powers? How many times do I punch this guy? I'd rather die than let you beat me! I am gonna destroy you! No way, you're not taking that. No, it's my gauntlet no, now. No. Let go. Nice one, Jack. Uh oh, the gauntlet. The gauntlet. Quick, grab it, Jesse. Grab it. Hurry. Administrate this. Take this. Oh! I like that line Jesse came up with. Administrate this. I did it. He's normal now. Huh? So this is what he looks like when he's normal. Why do you have to go and make everything so difficult? Everyone likes you. And you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just... I just wanted people to... People to... To like you? Well, just bedrocking over the world isn't the way, admin. No. I shouldn't call you admin anymore. I should call you Romeo. This place is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. <laughs> Whoa. We're doomed. So his power is if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just just leave me. My power. It was just frosting on a, on a cake. An empty, worthless cake. No, this is where I belong. This is where I'll pay for what I've done. I can't believe that, that this is what it You can redeem yourself, as men. No, Romeo, I meant. So you can so redeem stupid, yourself. So blind. You can still fix things, Romeo. No matter what you've done, you're still a person. Like everyone else, you can be redeemed. Yeah, you don't deserve to die. Redeemed. Yeah. I always believe in second chances. I mean, I gave Ivor a second chance, and look what God, happened. Leave me. I deserve to stay in this opinion. No, you're not Come staying on. here, this Romeo. We can decide what happens to him later. We're Let's all leaving together. Now. You're not staying here. That would be the coward's way out. Exactly. Make things right by being my friend. You wanted a friend? I'll be your friend. The lava gets to that portal before we do. We'll be stuck here forever. Then let's move. Yeah, let's let's. You might want to move quickly, though. Move! Nice roll there, Romeo. Uh, less standing, more running, please. Jump! Thanks, Petra. Quick, hurry before the lava destroys the portal. What the? The Colossus? How is it still alive? Come on! I don't have my powers! I, I can't control it! We're screwed. How are we gonna get past him? Wait, where's the gauntlet? Can't I use the gauntlet on him? There's no way we're gonna die here. Radar! Radar! Zara, help me! To save us all! 
Go, gentlemen! Destroy that Colossus! Oh! Ripped his head off! Morgan, your big brother is a badass! Yes! We did it! We saved the world yet again! That was awesome! I love how Radar came back and he brought the giant Enderman to help us! That was awesome! Oh yeah, we are, Petra. Not a minute too soon. Radar, oh my gosh. Romeo. It's after following me, right? Right? <laughs> nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Yep. Hey, nice work. Yeah, well done, Radar. That was awesome. The way he um, got the Enderman to fight the Colossus. Well, we. We did it! We saved the world yet again! I like how they all were, went from screaming in terror to cheering all, all of a sudden. <laughs> Look at Stampy with his parrots! <laughs> Good old Stampy. I... I... Thank you. Sincerely. I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. I do know what I need to do to make up for my crimes, though. I'm gonna return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Fix all the lives I... ruined. And I'm gonna try Good. and find Zara. See if I can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I... Or what I did to Fred. But if I can heal things with Zara... Well, it's something, at least. Yeah, I think you should. I mean, she'll probably kill you, but it's a star. Hope I can still remember how the normal way even works. That sounds fine, Romeo, but it's only the start. You have a lot of making up to do. Oh yes, it's true. I like this. I like how the ending's turning out, and I'm glad that we got to save Romeo in the end and redeem him. Save oh. the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, <laughs> thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. You too, Lucas. Whoa, 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 whoa. is that the admin? Is he? Don't worry, he's not the admin anymore. Nope. This is Romeo. Well, that's a relief. No more admins for me, thank you very much. I agree. agree that 112%, Blondie. But Jesse, after everything he did, do you... You really think he deserves to go free? What if he hurts? Me? I think so. Might... I mean, I believe in second chances. He might have been better off where he was. I know he was terrible, but I saw him sitting there, and I just couldn't do it. Even if he did deserve it, I just couldn't live with myself if I trapped him there. Well, that's exactly. because you're a good person, Jesse. But I just hope it was the right decision. I think it is. I mean, I don't think the other option would have been good. What do you guys say we head home? I say. Way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Man, yep. I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. Yeah. <laughs> no more prison radar. I just want regular radar back. This is good though. I like this. Romeo is now normal again, and now he's changed for the best, and maybe we'll be friends later on. I mean, I always give people second chances. I can't help it. I'm just... I'm a nice guy. I, I, I always see the good in people. I mean, Ivor was a villain in the first game, and he changed for the better, and now he's my friend. I wanted to do the same thing for Romeo, and it worked. Maybe we'll be friends again, and hopefully Zara won't kill him. Huh, they're planting trees on the tower. So, are, they, are we going to keep that? I think we should. It looks cool. Jesse! Ivor! I'm approaching you from this direction, and I'm coming to speak with you. Yes, I know, I can see you, no Ivor. No trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Both my actions and my intentions are crystal clear. <laughs> After all the times you've snuck up on me recently, I appreciate that. Precisely my intention! My days of sneaking up on people are behind me. Really? So, no more ninja Ivor, then? Ha! <laughs> no, no. 
I decided <laughs> it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Ellie will be easy. Just oh, by Gabriel, Soren, and Elagard. Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. Yeah, they'd like that. Soren, no idea where he is, but I've got some leads. Oh man, that's what awesome. happened to them? Be so excited. You think so? I that's know so. The way I'm hoping it will happen. It will. Well, I suppose it's time for me to go. Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to. <laughs> and he's gone again. Ninja <laughs> habits die hard. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna miss Ivor. Whatever happens to uh, the others anyway. Mind, but uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really oh. stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been. Stressful. I'm really glad to have you back, Radar. So fun. So like fun, stressful. So I'm stressful. proud of you. Anyway, I think I've been doing a pretty good job. You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. This is the best day. <laughs> he hasn't changed at all. I'm glad we're keeping that tower. It looks good. Whoa! Luna! Hey, Luna. Oh, and Stella. Hey. Anyway, uh, so with Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But, uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double-check and see if you'd already you'd been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. See, what? You, know, the you want me to keep her? Um, I built her llama house when I haven't been around. Yeah, I'll I, take care of Luna for you. Which, Not that you've been doing I a good job anyway. What doing if you'd already built one? Or were planning to? Now, if she wants to stick with me, it'll be my honor to keep taking care of her. <laughs> I think she'll really like that. Oh, she does. I may not have appreciated you before, but I'm coming around. I'm excited for us to spend more quality time together. Yeah. You're okay. not going to replace Reuben, well, though. <laughs> Stupid emotions. I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse, for everything. You saw me at my worst, and you still thought I was worth saving. That, yeah, I guess. Well, I can't help them. Just, want to try I'm to too better, good. Being my best. No more rivalry, though, okay? No more. I guess our rivalry is over. Finally put it to an end. Actually, I ended our rivalry. I can end a rivalry way better than you. <laughs> She's I'm off again. I'm not proud of it, Jesse, but I was a little tiny bit weirdly obsessed with you. You oh, think? Are we talking about Stella being a weirdo stalker now? <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey. I was just telling Stella here that I would take care of Luna for her. Oh, cool. Well, she seems very excited. Yes, and now I must go. Thank you again for everything. Sincerely. Yeah, you're welcome, I guess. Despite how I felt about her in the beginning, she's turned out to be okay. She's now in the you've okay level. you got everything though. you need. All packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very... Bittersweet for me, you know. Goodbyes are no good. <sighs> that we have, Nermi. So I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. Wait, so Petra's leaving? Oh, I want you to stay. So you're leaving, apparently. For how long? Honestly, probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow or whatever. Anyway, I understand, I'm but... about to say goodbye to everyone. And I... Ah! Come here. Axel, Olivia. I myself, I wouldn't cry. <laughs> is broken. Oh. It'll be okay. The old gang's so back together. The great unknown, huh? Huh. Yeah. I figured. Definitely sounds um, exciting. Could start a new town, find temples or dungeons or makes her happy, whatever I you guess. slash types do. Everyone's gotta find their happy place. For Petra, it's mostly in unexplored forests and caves. Yeah. I think I'm closing that chapter of my life for a while. It's time to settle down. Here. 
Hey, you guys are missing out on Prime Group Hug action. Yeah, let's get it on this. Come here, you guys. Ah, no air. Actually dying. <laughs> ah. Aww. I'm you gonna miss this. this. Like the last time we'll all be together, do you? I hope no. not. Well, we'll see each maybe? other again. I don't know. And no matter I what, mean, we'll always be best Petra's friends. No, hang on. Let's not put all the pressure on me here. Maybe I'll go on an adventure too. Nah, I got a feeling we'll all be together again. I don't know when, I don't know where, but it'll happen. I hope so. <laughs> that sounds nice. I hope so too. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I. <laughs> too late. <laughs> no, oh, Axel. Oh, I'm gonna miss them. Bye, Axel. Bye, Olivia. I'm really gonna miss them. Okay. The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the admin's cabin, I, I know you promised that we'd always stick together. Yeah. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. You want me to come with you? But what about Beacon Wait, Town? You're leaving? Wait. No. No, you, you're not think saying that I have to... No, come on, are you kidding me? Another one? Oh. Hit the road. So I, I can either leave with Petra, leave Beacon Town for good and just be with her, or I could stay in Beacon Town with my friends, with Radar, Lucas, Jack and Nurm. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. Oh, this is a harder decision than than choosing to save Radar or not. Oh, all right. I really don't know what to pick here. I mean, they're both good. I mean, I don't want to leave Petra, but I don't want to leave Beacon Town either. After I just got it back from the admin. I mean, Beacon Town is my town. I mean, n but oh, I don't want to leave Petra again. I want to be with Petra. Oh. Alright, well, during the, I remember in the very beginning, I, I was upset that because the, the whole team wasn't together again, they were living their own lives, and Jesse was living his own life, but Petra didn't really want that. She wanted to have to continue going on adventures, and well, I actually want that as well. I want to go on adventures too. I want the, the Order of the Stone to still be together, but uh, that's not going to happen though. But uh, if I go with Petra... I could still go on adventures, and it'll be back the way it used to be. We just won't have the rest of our friends with us. I mean, also, Radar, I think he's willing to take over for me while I'm away. I mean, I don't think anyone else can do it other than him. So, yeah, I think I'm going to hit the road with Petra, because oh, I really want to stay with her. Out of everyone in Minecraft Story Mode, she's the one I want to be with the most. I still have hopes that Petra and Jesse will get together someday. So, I'm really sorry guys, but I'm going to be going with Petra. Yeah, I think Petra and I are going to hit the road for a while. <gasps> sorry. Sounds pretty awesome, right? Yeah. I'm going to miss you guys. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, it does, but, but without you here, who will run Beacon Town? Looks like you're going to have to take over for me. Danger could still strike at any time. Yeah, uh, Mayor Radar. Uh, they could revolt or something. Who do you think, pal? You. Me? Really? Yeah. I hereby promote you from intern to hero in residence. Yeah. Thanks, boss. This, uh, you have been, you are. What I'm trying <laughs> to say is that I promise I'll make you proud. I know you will. You already have. Everyone's going to miss you, you know? I know. And, and I'm gonna miss, miss everyone. If anyone ever really needs me, I'll be around. I mean, we will return to Beacon Town t soon, me and Petra. And we'll live and I'll take over again when you get when I get back. Oh, I'm really gonna miss those guys. Oh, come on, Luna. Well, at least Luna's coming with us, right? Hey Petra! I'm coming with you! You gonna wait up for me? Well, 
one last goodbye to uh, all my friends. I'm really gonna miss you all. Bye, everyone. I feel bad leaving Beacon Town after I got it back, but I I want to be with Petra. Hey, Tummy, you gonna wait up for what? Surprised to see me, Petra? I'm gonna be staying with you. You're stuck with me. I was kind of hoping you'd be interested in a race. <laughs> ah, you're on. Uh, back to racing. And Luna's already got a head start on us. Uh, farewell, Jesse and Petra and Luna. Good luck on your next adventure. Oh, that's the end. Oh, I'm really sad it's over now. This was amazing. Oh, what's this? Oh, my face cam's blocking the thing. Ah, uh, darn it. I can't see the choices. Ah, here's, um, down there. You and 47% of players encourage Radar to take chances and be his own man. Okay. Cool. Good. I was- I remember when I first met Radar, I wasn't sure about him at first, but he actually turned out to be a, a pretty okay guy. Same with Stella. I hated her guts when I first saw her. I just- ugh, I couldn't stand her. The first thing I wanted was- uh, is for her to just die, but uh, she turned out to be okay in the end. I wouldn't call her a friend, but she's an okay person. Uh, sorry, my face kind of blocking out the thing. Oh, Zara. Yeah. Whatever happened to Zara? We didn't see her at all in this episode. I was hoping she'd she'd come back with Radar when he brought the giant Enderman to the terminal space, but I guess not. She's probably still in the underneath. And, well, she's going to be surprised when she sees, um, Romeo again. I really hope she doesn't kill him, because, well, I just saved his life. I saved Romeo because... Uh, I still thought there was good in him. And there was. Yep, there he is now. I like him like this compared to how he is now, but I'm glad he's normal again. I'm really glad I saved his life, because... I just, I like him. I like him as a character. I like his personality. I have a friend that is kind of like him in real life. That's why I like him so much. And well, I, I see goodness in everyone and I always give second chances, to, even to villains. I mean, Ivor for example, he was a villain when, he, when, when the game started off in the very first season. And well, now he's my friend. I, I wanted Romeo to be the same. And well, I think he will. Ah, uh, there's all the whole gang. I have no idea why Stella's there, but I don't care. Uh, again, I'm sorry my face cam is blocking the text. I can I can barely see it. Sorry about that. I'll probably let you know what it is in another video, I make. Okay, what advice did you give Jack when he met Ivor? You and 56% of players told Jack to be himself. Yeah, I remember in the very first episode of this game that that exact same decision was with Petra when we met Jack for the first time and I told Petra to be herself around him. That was really funny and clever when they, um, they did the same decision for Jack to Ivor. That was really good. Did you destroy the admin statue? You and 50% of players destroyed the admin statue but put Nell in danger. Whoa, it's 50-50. I've never seen a decision in the Telltale game where the, where the options were 50-50. So, half chose to destroy it, half chose not to. I mean, yeah, we got Nell in trouble, but she turned out alright in the end. She ended up being part of the new ocelot that um, Lucas formed. I like Nell. How did you confront the admin in his tower? You and 53% of players tried to reason with the admin. Good. Because, as I said before, I still, oh, I believe in second chances, and I knew there was good in him somehow. Oh. I mean, yeah, he tried to bedrock over our whole world, but all the ad, all, no, not the admin. I shouldn't call him the admin anymore. Romeo, I should call him from now on. He's not the admin anymore. All Romeo wanted was to have friends. I mean, yeah, he went about it the wrong way, but that's not really his fault. 
Did you leave Romeo behind in the terminal space? You and 52% of players took Romeo with you. Yeah. Because, well, I already explained why I did that. Did you remain in Beacon Town or leave with Petra? You and 51% of players went in adventuring with Petra. Oh, so I'm just about in the, ma in the majority there. Yeah. It's almost 50-50 with this one as well. I'm actually glad I went with Petra. I mean, that was a really hard choice to make because I wanted to be with Petra more than anything. It's because I really have a feeling that she and Jesse will get together someday. But, well, I doubt that there's going to be a third season after this. I mean, they might make a third season, but... Nah, this feels like a good conclusion to Minecraft Story Mode as a whole. Wait, there might be a secret, um, vid- There might be more at the end. That will give us a hint if there's a third season. Is there? I don't think there is. Nope, that's it. That is the end of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. And boy, what an adventure it was. It was just as great as the first game. It was amazing. And, and it, it really opened up some new um, adventures, introduced us new characters, and... I felt like we got closer to the old characters like Petra through this game than we ever did in the first game. And the villain was amazing. The admin was a great villain. I really liked him. He was amazing. He was better than the other villains the first game had. And, and well, I think this was a good conclusion to the, to the story as a whole. I mean, in the end, Jesse and Petra end up together and they continue adventuring, just as how they did in the very beginning when they first met. It was just the two of them. And now it's continuing on. I really don't know if they'll make a third season, I kind of doubt it, but it would be amazing if they did make a third season. I would like to see how what happens next. And the whole thing with the admin, it was a lot of um, surprises. Because I, I remember when I first started this, I always thought the admin was going to turn out to be Notch, the creator of Minecraft. But no, it turned out to be something entirely different. But maybe in the third season, they might explain a few things like where did the admins come from? Who gave them their powers? And all that. So maybe if they do make a third game, I think they should have Notch in it. I mean... We had some um, Minecraft YouTubers in the first Minecraft story mode, such as Captain Sparkles, Dim the Diamond Minecart, Stampy and Stampy, and Stacy. But so it would be amazing if we got to meet the creator of Minecraft in the next season. I really hope they do make it the next season, and I I also hope in this next season, well possibly next season, the the villain would would will be Herobrine. That would be amazing. But I still doubt that. If you are, if Telltale is happening to be watching this, I really hope you make a third season of this. I'm really looking forward to it. I want, I want more of this, just as I want more of The Walking Dead. It's amazing. Huh. Well, now that I finally got this out of the way, I can move on to other games. I already have one last Telltale game in mind, but I'm gonna wait a while before I start playing it. And that Telltale game is going to be this, the second season of Batman. So be sure to stick around for that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this series with me. Be, be sure to check out the playlist for, this, for, the, for all of Minecraft uh, Story Mode Season 2 and the first season. I'll leave them in the description below. And um, um, be sure to check out some other videos I've done in the past. Uh, other Telltale games and other Let's Plays I've done if you're new here. And I will see you all next time. Peace. Goodbye, Jesse. I'm gonna miss you.